All right, hang in there with me. I'm teaching you something entirely new today. And if you ever want to tangle with a huge fish, this is the way to do it. This flasher knocker can be rigged weedless and it's virtually rock proof as well if you're trolling deep for grouper or fish like that. All right, I've got a 50 caliber, which I have trimmed some damage off the end. I have drilled a hole in the primer and I have made a 45 degree flat on the grinder. I polished it up. The original condition was this, the same condition I found it in. They dump many thousands of these in the revetments of uh, B-17 bases in World War II. This is a 1942 shell. And the thing about these World War II shells, uh, they are top-notch brass. Uh, no, no fillers or anything like that. They are, they are the real deal. Off of uh, where we used to live, Hernando Beach, there's also many thousands of them because that's where they used to strafe in uh, Centipede Bay. And you get them with a metal detector. All right, we're going to make our flasher knocker. And what we need to do, this is simply a Carolina rig kit. And I like to use the weights in this because they... they don't deteriorate, they fit inside the shell and they're uh, very tough and everything that you need to actually to rig one of these comes in one of those little Carolina kits. If I didn't have the, all this stuff what I would do is I would just uh, put my wire through a small washer and use a regular fishing weight for my knocker and some regular fishing beads for my beads. All right, let's rig this up. I like to work from the back end first. We're going to figure out where our puller is, and that's right here. That's this little piece right here. So we're going to have that. My knocker is going to go here. So let's just rig up a knocker. My knocker is going to go there. That's about right. In between, I'm going to put a bunch of beads. Got that going through. All right. So let's put on a kind of need something to hold it. So let's just grab. take and now all that piece does is pull it pull it through the water okay let's put on
Now you've got the idea. We're teasing fish with sound and flash to come take a look. It works anywhere in the world. That goes in. That goes in. Now we can wire this direct or we can use something like that. I'm going to wire this direct. Now the way I wrap my hooks is I feed the wire through the eye and then I make a rounded curve and bring it back 180 degrees upon itself then a 45 degree bend and then wrap eight tight turns. Now we're going to go to the other end and attach the swivel of your choice appropriate for the fish you're after. All right, we have our rig made, but you're going to modify this to suit the fish that you're after. This is just an example um, of the rig, the basic components from what I have left. Gave all my saltwater tackle away to an outfit that takes vets out, so I have very little left. Um, if you need to lengthen this wire out, you're going to lengthen that wire out. More importantly, if you're after super big fish that may grab this whole thing and you need six feet of wire going this way, what you're going to do is lengthen this wire out and of course attach your swivel or wire it direct to whatever you're doing. But you're going to put one of these sleeves right here and crimp it because sometimes we need as much as six feet of wire going out that way if we're after uh, oh some like a wahoo or a big kings you know they're gonna they're gonna grab this whole rig and then when they turn they get hooked now the good thing is with this wobbling on the rocks if it hits the rock it comes up and uh, you very rarely get snagged with this rig. With the plastic on with a hook like i am got here, it's, uh, it's completely weedless. So um, it's, a, it's just an excellent, excellent rig for big fish. Good luck with your fishing.